hate to be the guy that breaks this to some of you, but just because no one throws it doesn't make it underrated. If anything, that should be a sign for you to stop bagging it too. But I did ask you guys what some of the most underrated disc golf discs are, and this is what you guys had to say. Also, I totally forgot that I was going to make this video, so that's why it's coming out right now. Hey, better late than never. Oh yeah, this is why I didn't make the video. Because dipshit over here has the nerve to really think the fucking Berg is underrated. That might be the funniest thing I heard since Noah told me the Saint was the best fairway driver. The Berg is not underrated. If anything, that bitch is the most overrated disc to ever exist. There's a reason no other company is trying to copy it. Hey, you keep that shit over in Denmark, Loft. But I will say, I think their Xenon should get a little bit more attention. I've seen Disc Golf Jesus chop down on these things like he's the lumberjack from Hoodwinked. Thankfully, Robert is here to speak some facts out in the universe. You guys already know how I feel about the Wild Honey. And if you don't, do yourself the favor and go get one. If I didn't bag a T-Bird 3, the cookie would be the next disc in my bag. For those that refuse to throw a Firebird, go check out the Ginger. The next time I see the soda in person, I'm buying one to replace my lost C-Line FD. But the mango? Yeah, fuck that disc. Shanked, I don't even know how to pronounce that disc's name. What makes you think anyone should put it in their bag? Not even if it was the last disc on earth would I get caught throwing Doomsday. Except for that Area 51, but discs from the homies get exceptions. Why else would I have Lone Star in my bag right now? The Dillo and Berg do have something in common. Nobody should be bagging one. I've never had someone suggest Streamline to me. I always thought without the gyro, only the rejects of the rejects threw them. The Mako 3 was the first disc I'd ever purchased on my own, along with the Banshee, so you won't catch any slander from me. Rocksteady, I've never seen someone so confidently wrong in my life. Once Macbeth stopped making people believe this disc was any good, people stopped throwing that shit. Hey bud, there's a reason no one else throws the Claymore. I hear people talk about the Vulture pretty often, but not even the pretty swirly plastic could convince me to buy Discraft. The Hawkeye's a stupid name for a disc, that's why. Also, look at the major downgrade from the look. Went from simple and classic to what I imagine an emo middle school girl would draw. Swiss Cheese once got the Monta as a mystery disc. Worst $12 he's ever spent. And that guy throws Prodigy. Low key, more people should be throwing this disc, but I still don't know if it's pronounced Mistire or not, so I will not be suggesting it that often. The only best out the box beat and destroyer comes from the bins in a U section. Don't come at me with that bullshit. To be fair, I've heard good things recently, so maybe I'll have to make a video testing out all these so-called people's destroyer. Drop a like if you want to see something like that. The Bonsai, Rogue, Pipeline, and Rift are all discs no one should be throwing, if I'm being honest. At least you can tell your friends the Stag is a way better name than the off-brand Star Wars droid. Just because you have an ace with a disc doesn't make it good. Or then the fucking Whammo midrange, yes, that's the actual name, would be amazing. God damn it, people. There's no reason to be suggesting this many West Side discs. At least no one said the harp. Don't even think about it. I'm not even going to entertain the idea that the Warship glides unlike any other mid-range you've ever seen. The amount of times I hear that from disc golfers is more insane than another fucking West Side suggestion. Can we knock it off? Like, what the fuck is the Ati? Something you should stay the fuck away from, probably. I've never been so happy to see a Prodigy disc in my life. As long as you don't throw your putting putters, I'll let the PA3 slide. Apparently the iron is good for noodle arms, so about half of you watching should probably get that disc. You're right about the Maya being underrated. I think more people need to check out that disc if they're looking for effortless distance. Are you noodle arms still listening? And if you still throw it like shit, at least you'll look cool. That brief period I was Drew Gibson's caddy, I watched him throw the era on damn near every shot at WR Jackson. Still couldn't convince me the disc was worth buying though. Not too sure what a wizard does in the woods so well, but if it's anything like the MD1, probably a whole lot of nothing. I'm confused. Are left-handed players not allowed to throw the Vortex? And what about four-handers? My buddy Justin once tried to get me to throw the Dynasty, and that bitch was more flippy than Nick Diaz with nunchucks. Fuck, someone always has to be this guy. First off, no one is giving this disc praise besides the people that double the cheese in their macaroni. Second, please just get any other overstable approach disc, and I promise you'll realize the lies you're spreading like you're a candidate in the 2024 election. Ready for an odd fact? I just spent the weekend in an Airbnb with the owner of RPM Discs. He seemed pretty cool, so I approve of whatever disc you're suggesting. If you're going to tell me a gateway disc that's not the wizard, just stop. Seth, with all love, 
Fuck the soul. So many better discs to choose from, and that's what you picked. Are you really dumb enough to say a dynamic disc is underrated on this channel? Are you a fucking idiot or something? I suggest a Halo Mamba for a slightly more stable flight, but if you're having trouble flipping this thing, get yourself a normal star version. But that Halo can be perfect to combat windy situations, so not completely useless. And can fill a slot in your bag instead of putting another useless disc in there. More people don't throw them because they aren't that good. But that was a staple disc when I was learning the game, so there will always be a soft spot in my heart. Are you talking about the DX Shark or the Panther? Either way, you're wrong. Or bad. Well, probably both. I've never heard of the Sting, which doesn't make it underrated. No, makes it irrelevant. Man, I'm such an end of a cuck saying all their discs are good, but I swear it's because these are all understable discs that the noodliest arms will be able to figure out. Plus, I used to be on Team Innova back in the day, so I know their lineup the most. The Wave is a great disc for those people who haven't gotten the hint that throwing a destroyer 200 feet isn't ideal. Although, Weston, that doesn't mean you shouldn't change your form. How are you going to come over here and talk shit about the Wild Honey and say something as dumb as the Servo? The disc can't even pick hole numbers on its flight chart. Unironically, the Rolo has been a game changer for so many disc golfers I know. Is it only because it's correcting their shitty form? Yeah, but isn't that what Blue Chew does? And no one talks shit about that. Couldn't be more correct about the Mamba, but fuck the Orbital. Not for any good reason, but in high school, I broke my Orbital in a wrestling match. Don't try and leg pass in the air, kids. Every 60-year-old is faced with two choices, the Comet or the Meteor. And from that day on, their destiny would be chosen to slay the other with wicked shots through the tightest of gaps. I'm pretty proud of so many of you guys saying the Mamba. But at this point, can we even call it underrated? I'm still going to say yeah, just because there's so many more people that need to be bagging this. But they let their insecurities get in the way too much. The only time I've ever tried the Beast was from a play it against sports, and usually I hype that place up. But that's for their destroyer selection, not when it comes to understable discs. Those ones aren't as fun when they're used and abused. Is it unpopular to say the Leopard 3 is better than the Leopard? I'm not sure, but I'm going to say it with my chest. Nope, the Cayman is not underrated. Not even the bias of hitting a glory hole with it could convince me it's a good disc. And if you want to hear that story and what the hell a glory hole even means, drop a comment and maybe I'll get Disc Golf Jesus and Swiss Cheese to help me tell that story. I love when people compare discs to other more popular ones and add something like slightly faster or less glide as if that actually means anything. Ready for this hot take? I don't believe in glide. What the fuck does that even mean? How long the disc stays in the air? That's not even true. Plus, flight numbers seem pretty dumb to begin with. I'm not saying completely useless, but actually, fuck it. I'm just going to make a full video on it so I can do a full rant. Make sure to subscribe to see that video next week. I've had to watch Noah throw the Underworld, and nothing he's done has made me think of getting one, which is what I would tell most of you guys out there. The Eagle isn't even the best fairway driver from Innova, and you're going to claim that shit? Come on, dude. Use your brain. Why the hell do you need to pick the specific weight, color, or plastic? It's not like any of those things are going to make it better. It's a fucking remix disc. Who even is that? Only cousin fuckers throw Latitude. Oh yeah, and Europeans, but same thing. If you would have put two seconds into thinking before typing, you would have realized DGA discs aren't ever worth bagging. Not too sure what the fuck Hilo means, but I respect people that throw the Scorpius. I mean, it's just an old school destroyer for a lot less money. Damn bro, Pride Month just ends and you gotta say the annex is super straight? Homophobic anyone? You know what? I'll agree with you on the hammer. Because the only thing better than one thumb track is two. Ever heard of two negatives make a positive? Bro only said Vibram to show off he's been playing disc golf before it was cool. Well, good thing it's still not cool. Hey, I started playing in 2014. I get it. Shout out to everyone who helped make this video possible. Without your shitty suggestions, I wouldn't have been able to make it happen. July is going to be the biggest month for the Bodogi channel, so make sure to subscribe to not miss out on the madness. Oh yeah, and if you want to know the worst part about disc golf, check out the video right here. Oh,